the man accused of sending mail bombs to prominent Democrats across the country facing a judge this morning. Caesar Sayak was in federal court for a bond hearing. And his meeting with the judge lasted just a few minutes. CBS 4's Gary Nelson is live in downtown Miami with what happened in court. Gary. Well, not a whole heck of a lot happened in court. What we were expecting here today was a bond hearing or a pretrial detention hearing, as they call it in the federal court system. But Sayox attorneys decided after the government released a long list of seemingly damning evidence against him uh, not to have that bond hearing after all. Accused mail bomber Caesar Sayoc said only yes, sir, to Judge Edwin Torres when asked if he understood he was voluntarily being transferred to New York. His attorneys deciding to withdraw their request for a bond hearing here. Right now, we thought it was a little premature to contest anything right now until we know more facts. But a litany of alleged facts emerged in a court filing in New York this week claiming Sayoc's fingerprints were found on two of 15 explosive devices sent to critics of President Trump and that Sayoc's DNA was found on components of 10 of the IEDs. In Sayoc's van, plastered with praise of the president and crosshairs over his his detractors like Hillary Clinton. Investigators say they found electronic devices with web searches listing many of his allegedly intended victims. He reportedly had a list of at least 100 potential targets. The new filing helped convince lawyers here to decide not to have a bail hearing. Well, obviously, everything that we're given weighs on our decisions. So Sayoc's case now gets kicked to public defenders in New York. As these things come dribbling in, we felt it more appropriate for the lawyers that are going to represent him in the long run to make the analysis and determination and decide what they want to do. Sayoc is entitled to a bond hearing in New York, but the likelihood of his getting bail would appear slim to none. Attorney Daniel Aronson, who you saw in that piece, has represented Sayoc previously. The case was a bomb threat case. He had threatened to blow up Florida Power and Light, upset over his power bill. He got probation for that. The U.S. Marshals Service is expected to transfer Sayoc to the Southern District of New York very quickly. For now, we're live in Miami. Gary Nelson, CBS 4 News.